Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build our modern house. As you can see, we've built our first story, but we need to finish the layout and complete our second story. So let's get this episode underway. <laughs> All right, welcome back. And as you can see, we worked pretty hard in our last episode where we got kind of the base down for our structure. We got our kind of palette of colors and materials laid out, but we need to finish our layout of the back of the house so we can get that all down. And then we can start working on our second story. So first things first, we've got to head over to Jelly here and we got to give Jelly some food. There you go, Jelly. Enjoy that, enjoy that. All right, so over here, I mentioned we're going to do something pretty cool for this door. I'm hoping to do some type of little... Uh, piston design than I have for a horse garage. And yeah, so where do we want to start first? I think we'll do the layout of the back of the house first. So let's head through our doorless our doorless house there. And as you can see, I kind of laid out some pillars of where I was kind of looking at adding some additional space in the back. So what we want to do here is lay out the back of the house where we're kind of map out where we're going to put the extra rooms that maybe may jut out from the general shape of the house. I don't want a, just a big box of a house. I want this to kind of have a lot of different little curves and grooves. But as we go along, we're going to probably make some changes. But this is our first, first crack at this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go out from here. So we'll count this as one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll go 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And this is what, 28? Oh, okay. All right. I guess that's probably okay. So if I, if I goofed up in that, you can always correct me. So then we'll just take this pole all the way out here. Bring this just about, let's see, come out a little bit farther. And then we'll just line it up with our other one that we built down there in the previous episode. So there we go. We got that. And then right here, I want to talk about once we finish this section. So we'll go out about here. So let's count that out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's 12. And then we'll go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's 9. And then what is this? So 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we got that all kind of laid out. And of course, if I goofed up, you guys can always correct me. And what this is going to be is another room for our house. So we had this extra room along here. And then over here, I'm thinking about maybe like a... This is a cutout from our first story. So maybe like a spa here and then have the second story cover it over where the, we'll have extra room for our second story. So something along those lines, I think that'll look pretty cool. So let's just fill in this last section here to our last spot there. Perfect, perfect. And let's fly up here. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. And there we go. So we got a good start on that. I think that looks pretty good for our house. So let's start over here on our second story design. So let's see here. So we're going to go from here. I believe it's five. So two, three four five I think that is we'll double check in a second but let's just get this down a little bit so I'm just filling this in here like that I think this is gonna look pretty darn awesome once we get it all complete so let's fill in this side I may bring it up one more we can always bring it up easier then we can take it out oh, I guess this is creative we can just knock it out I'm thinking like chop each block out like in survival. So we'll just run out, pull right here. There we go. Oh, I like that. I like that, but I like how it's not flush with this one, but I feel like to me anyway, that I want to keep the interior, um, you know, I want the walls to be, you know, clean. So ah, I think I'm going to push it forward one. I'm going to push it forward one. So we'll just remove what we did here. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, you know, we made a mistake, but, you know, I think it was good to see what that would look like. But, you know, I think it'd be better to have this go along here. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think that's a better choice right there. I think that's a better choice. Okay, so let's do our little stair design here. There we go. So we'll just fill that in like so. 
Perfect, perfect. Get a quick look at how we're doing and look at the beautiful sunset. And then I'll just fix that. There we go. Okay, so let's fill in the back end here. We'll just fill this in right here. There we go. Get that all filled in like so. Okay, so hmm. let's get, so to get this all in here and we can get a better look at how we're doing. There we go. Okay, just wanna get that extra filled in in the back. So one thing I wanna ask you guys is, I have this larger three by three window down here, but I'm thinking about doing two skinny windows up here. What do you think about that? I have the same design plan kind of for over here, but I have the skinny windows on the bottom. Does it look odd to have the bigger window and the skinny windows up? I'm just trying to kind of decide how I wanna do that. I'm trying to decide how I wanna do that because some cases that looks a little weird to have the big window up here and the skinny ones down there for on that side. I don't know, things going through my head as we build this. So I'll just fill that in like there. And we need to run up a pole here. Oops, there we go. I think that's probably good for there. I'm gonna probably one, two, three, four, five, have to run something along here. There we go, I'm gonna have to run that up there to make that look flush. I think that looks good. That's kind of what I was buzzing around in my head at the moment, trying to figure out how it's gonna do. And then I'll make a nice little design right here too, to carry on with that theme. Zoom on down. That's good, I like that. I like that, that's good. I think we I think we got it. I think we've got it. Okay. And then eagle-eyed subscribers have noticed that the little green house down there that was back when the hardened clay was introduced and I made a quick little house to show you the possibilities of the green clay and things like that. And then there's the hall of color and stuff like that. I do believe that is the first house ever created in Minecraft with hardened clay. That, that house was built within like an hour of the snapshot being released. Because I saw that and I'm like, oh snap, that is going to be epic for making houses. All right, good. So we got that. Now I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to run that down like so. See, I think it looks better to have the skinny windows up here and the bigger window down there. I think proportion-wise, the house just looks more... I'm not sure what the right word is for that, but it just looks better that way. There we go. There, there. I think that looks pretty nice. That looks great. All right, so let's fly on over here, and let's start on this thing. So let's we'll start up here a little bit. This will be our kind of transition point to over there. Let's run this along here so we can meet up with this. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. And I really like this. This this is this is pretty cool. So one thing I was thinking we could also do a separate color in here just to make it, you know, uh, contrast against the rest of the house. So maybe like a green or something a little bit lighter maybe in here as this color that sticks out between the stairs. I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I want to get your guys' opinion on that if that's something you guys want to see. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's get another check at that. Something seems amiss, but I don't think so. Hmm. So we'll just run this along here get this all filled in. It's good to fill this in so you don't have to do it later on. And it makes everything just look cohesive and just less messy for when you're trying to like envision, you know, interior design. You've got all these blocks sticking out here or there. All right, get that all filled in. Get that filled in so we can get a better look from outside. All right, good, good, good. We're starting to get there. We are starting to get there. So we'll fill this all in like so. Get that in there. One more up at the top. One, whoop, whoop, one more right there. There we go. And yeah, I think that looks good. So we'll fill that in with our half slabs of spruce wood. There we go. Put that there. Are we gonna do a window up here? I think we are, I think we are. I think that's what we planned. And then a nice row of quartz up below that. There we go, put that right so. There we go, look at that. Look at that, that is starting to come out really nice. I really like that. Okay, so let's add our glass to here. There we go. 
And you know that the great thing about this is we can always come in and change things as, as we go along. With the you know creative mode, it's so easy to change different things. All right, so now we're going over here, which is just a teeny bit more complicated as we go over here, because I want to try to make the front of the house right there just a little bit different than the front that's on that side. Okay, so we're getting into that tricky part. Getting into that tricky part. Okay, so fly on over here. Fill in here for now. Come across here. There we go. I hope I'm not going too fast. I know I'm trying to keep, you know, the video from being like an hour, so I'm trying to go, you know, pretty fast. So I, I do apologize if it's hard to follow. I, I do understand that, but I don't want the video to be too long. There we go. Let's fill it right there. There we go. Get that across there. Open that up a little bit more. Now, I like the skinny windows. I always, I usually do such big kind of windows on a lot of builds. I kind of like the skinnier window design for this. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, let's see, add that up there and add you up here. I think once we get to the landscaping phase, we might be able to put some leaves up in here and these little corners and stuff like that. I think that'll look nice. Because once you add the landscaping, it really does add a lot to the building. It can look kind of hard and cold till you do add some of the landscaping, which really does make it kind of all come together in the end. So for here, I'm going to run, start this out. I'm going to run some half slabs across here like that. There we go. Get that on there. And then I'm going to take a pull and then run some stained clay up here like that. And this is preliminary because I might make a few changes as I go along. So don't hold me to that. Don't hold me to that design at the moment. Don't hold me there yet. So I bring this across here like that. And this is just the way I build. You know, this this I don't know. I don't know if if this format is something that you guys are is easy to follow. I hope it is. So I want it to be a somewhat tutorial based as you go along. But this is really the first um tutorial that I've done in creative. So I hope this is easy to follow for you guys and you're able to kind of pick up with it. If it's not, definitely let me know and I'll kind of figure out how I can adjust it to make it a little bit easier for you guys to follow. There we go. Perfect. So let's just fly on the other side and just clean up what we did here. There we go. See what I did was I wanted this to kind of push back a little bit so it's a little bit different than the front. And I might still make a few other small adjustments. I can always bring this section one forward if we want to. If you guys think that looks a little bit weird, I was just hoping to have this look just a little bit different. I was going to maybe like add some extra poles maybe up there like so. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what how that looks um, for our entrance here. Something just seems amiss at the moment. You know what I'm going to do? Gonna, I'm just gonna make have this be the wall, so it's back another block. So there we go. Okay, I think that that's how we're gonna do. Okay, and then just fly over here. I'm not the best creative flyer either. <laughs> I love flying in creative sometimes, but I'm not the best one. So hopefully, as we go along this series, I'll slowly improve. So I'm not so jerky with the camera, and I can make nice, uh, nice flying movements. As I fly around. Okay. Jelly, are you my wingman as I fly around over here? How are we doing? How are we doing? Ooh, I like that. See, I was going to do a giant window up there, but I think if I separate it by those two, I think that looks nice. You know, you know, maybe I could do the these that are too wide here down there, maybe. Hmm. Oh, the possibilities. The possibilities that we can do is endless. Okay, let's put that right there. So this isn't the final design. We'll revise it as we go along. Oh, we'll, we'll go along. We'll see how things look. We can always make adjustments as we pop along here. There we go. And what I love about this is there really isn't like a super ugly phase like there is sometimes when you're building in uh, in survival. So you know you start with a lot of the details in this first. So let's run that along there real quick. I just want to get a look how the sides all coming together make sure everything looks right there we go so for the most part at this point I'm just making it up as I go along I had the basic idea of colors and things that I wanted to do but at this point I'm pretty much making it up as I go along 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to probably see about some roof choices. So let's see how this roof is going to kind of come together like this maybe. So something, something a little bit like that. I think that's good. And then maybe we'll take one of these guys and run it something like that maybe. Something like that maybe. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right, guys, give me one second. I'm going to clean some areas up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I cleaned up a few areas that I forgot some of the pieces of material and I played around with the roof a little bit and I think I've got my design now. I played around with it a little bit and I think this is it. So I'm going to run this all the way along here. So I'm going to take this slab. Oh, oh that's a mistake. I'll fix that later. So I'm going to run this along here like so. So there's this uh, half slab here and then there is a hardened clay and then behind that level there and another row across here I'm going to run this over here so when you're down here it looks looks pretty cool looks nice and then another row along here like this there we go and then I'm going to run this along here and I think that looks pretty good so then we'll just take our stain clay at once again Place it there, place it there, place it there, and then we'll just fly over here. And then let's see, do we continue this along here? Yep, continue that along so like so. And just add those little pillars up there. I think that adds a little bit if you're kind of looking at it from a distance, you know, from a distance it looks a little bit goofy. I wonder if I'll just push these forward a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks nicer, I like that better. There we go, let's push those forward. And then from here we're gonna go one, two, three, four, come out like so. Wait, no, 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 back her up. Back her up, let's see, like this. I think that's, I think that's what we're gonna do, let's see. Now, something just feels wrong. Let's see, let me back that all off again. Let me back that off again, let's see. Maybe I'll go one, two, three, four, and then put this, these up here. Okay, there we go. That that makes it easier to see. That makes it a little bit easier to kind of get a visual on what we're going to do. We're going to run this up here like that. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That adds a lot to the kind of corner where it's kind of bland. We actually made it pretty cool. Kind of scartastic up there. That looks pretty good. Okay, so then we will run that along here. Nice, nice. I think that adds, it gives it almost like a little modern castle feel. I like that. I like that a lot. And then we'll just put those guys like so. And then, of course, we'll run this along here. Kind of get an idea how we're going to do that. Actually, no, the stain clay is going to run across here. So then pull this. Oh, ah, where are you going? Where's that, where's that block going? Where is that block going? Okay, yeah, that's correct, that's correct. So this is wrong, but you know, that, that doesn't look bad itself, but I think um, this will finally kind of pull everything together, our design today. So I think we did pretty good today in today's episode. We uh, really brainstormed quite a bit on the design of this and kind of made something pretty cool, I think. So we'll put that like that. And let's just take a little look at that from a distance. That's starting to look really, really nice. So give me one more second. I'm just gonna clean up any other mistakes for this episode and I'll be right back to finish this out. All right, welcome back. And look at that, there is our house. We put a little roof on this side anyway. We still have quite a bit more to do on the back. But there we go, so we've gotten pretty far on it. We've got a second story somewhat built. We have a pretty good idea now of all the design and color work we've done on here. It looks pretty good. I think it'll look really good when we have the landscaping in here. I think it'll break up some of this kind of zebra pattern that we have up here. It's gotten a little bit busy, if you will. So hopefully maybe we can kind of adjust some of that to make it look a little less, you know, lots of little lines everywhere. So maybe a few little design changes here or there once we get going. So of course, here it is. We have a lot more work to do. We have our back end of it. We have some interior work to do and all sorts of other great things. And if you guys have any suggestions for the back end, what type of rooms we have and things like that, definitely let me know. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So we're gonna place three blocks. There we go. And that's the start of our garage. 
So I'm just going to fly up here a little bit and we're going to place a block of quartz on either side. There we go. And then we're going to take our hardened clay and we're going to place one on this side like so. And there we go. So that is our main color.